Hi, to shine. In love. Hello, and welcome, me hearties. And let, listen, to this, listen to this crackling beer open. Yeah, oh, I didn't even. Oh, open I'll the just beers. hold the helmet. Yeah, I was gonna wear that. That's, I can't tell I can wear that. <laughs> it would last like two minutes. Yeah, not even. Not even. <laughs> None shall pass. You should have seen the night she had to kill to get that helmet. This is an awesome helmet. His head's still in there. Oh, oh yeah. no one was down with that cool. That gore. In... Guys, we got some old oh, fashioned yeah, yeah. beer oh, we'll for this old it. fashioned movie. How good this movie uh, is. So, yeah. did you guys watch the new release of Dungeons and Dragons? Have you seen it yet? Yeah. The new one? Honor Among Thieves. Yeah, that's what we're talking yeah. about, right? We're talking about Honor Among Thieves. Oh, I wish we were. I really no. wish we were. We're talking about something much better. The, the 2000, your 2000 epic. You, yeah, right, yeah, you play, if you will. Yeah. I think once you game, I hit the writing on this a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, the movie. Uh, yep. this, this is written by this is written by royalty though. Uh, e E Gary Gygax, uh, Gygax, uh, you know the uh, the son. Gary of, Gygax, son wrote this. Yeah, son wrote this. Yeah, yeah. this explains a lot. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, we're drinking some uh, real Polish beer here. Uh, okay, beer. It's okay. It's a kochi. A kochi. A kochi. Okay. Gross. What else? It's very nostalgic, guys. Hmm. So we got really uh, slightly buzz in uh, Poland drinking this because just it's like four though. and a half. Uh, it's refreshing. Oh, no, it's actually five point six. It's not too bad. Yeah, <sighs> we're drinking a lot of that. What a bitch. It was cheaper than water. I knew that was Thorberg. Literally <laughs> cheaper than I water. I knew that was Thorberg. Yeah, because I love Thorberg. Sixteen yeah. years old. Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, except for when she was little. Like, what? Yeah, she doesn't know who Thorberg is. No, but <laughs> she's seen. Uh, Hocus Pocus a bunch of times, right? Sure. Sure. Just didn't know the kid's name. Sure, this was sick. Okay, guys, let's talk about this movie, though, guys. Dungeons and Dragons. It There's starts right in. I mean, you already heard some of the pedigree in this. Thora Birch, Marlon Wayans, Jeremy Irons is in the scar from yeah, the Lion King. Yeah. And Jeremy yeah. Irons just, he's like the best Nicolas Cage in person I've also, ever seen. in a role that he has flat out said was his worst movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you could tell he regrets taking Jeremy you. says it. He said this is worse and you could It's like Bob Hoskins yeah. with, uh, yeah. It yep. poured off the page that he hated this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was like, uh, Shawn Michaels fighting Hulk Hogan. <laughs> just flopping <laughs> around. <laughs> flopping, doing flips yeah. on the ropes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so does that mean Justin He was definitely Hogan? being dramatic. I mean, he was trying something. He definitely made choices. Thor Birch was Hogan, obviously. Mm. Uh,. Thor Birch was Hogan. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's talk about this 2000 CGI that we get right off the bat. My God, it beginning. is. It is so good. It so, is something. So, guys, let's bear the lead here. You guys really like this movie, right? I enjoyed this movie. Yeah, really, it was so dumb and stupid. That's and what I said. I, I know. I was so like, so you know what? I don't hate <laughs> this. So this stupid. is yeah, yeah. It was real dumb, but yeah. I, I definitely seen worse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like like uh, the the CG was like what I was like ding at, and then it just came around for me at the end. I'm like, you know what? Yep. They, just, they just kept going. This yep. is really like, what I needed to fix the bad movies. I think it kind of like it was my reset. Heart. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I think I think yeah. the the like it, I I didn't look at the budget for this, but it had to be like eighty seven eighty seven dollars. No, eighty seven. Man, that that CG back then, like two thousand CG was, with how much like, like half like, CG the movie. That's crazy. It was like all the CG. Yeah, and crazy. Like, it, it went from all CG to like all set, and then well, back to all CG. The sets like, and like, practical effects were really cool in this yep. movie. Like I like the you know the little temple thing, and like that maze there. that was not a maze. Actually, like, not a maze, and we'll get to that. <laughs> they filmed <laughs> like, uh, this is a corridor. The very first scene where we're in um, what's Isn't the bad it? guy's name? Oh, Profian. Profians. By the way, uh, which is short for prophylactic. Yeah. By the way, yeah. they had a D and D name generator, and I think I'm just yeah, like yeah. 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 Profian. Spelled P R O F I O N. Yeah. Okay, and I even spelled like, yeah, yeah. like in a cool way. Yeah. Like, okay. uh, but that was filmed inside that. I wrote his name as Prothean, by the way, because I, I, the first time I heard it, I was just like, it was yeah, filmed inside not. that um, like church that's made of all the bones from the uh, from the Dark Ages that's in like. Prague or something yeah, like that. Sense. That makes sense. Uh, and they filmed it like they like they worked really hard to find. It was cheap to film in Prague, obviously, and there were like all the old buildings that they needed, so they they didn't have to build as many. Prague sets is very as old they, buildings. Yeah, as so they this is actually a very appropriate. I'm sure I got Pilsner or Cal, but mm. this guy's so yeah. dare you. It's so good, so good. We're close. 
Um, so we get some magic right away, and Jeremy Irons we get right away. Also eating up scenery. Uh, and Jeremy Irons, I, I'm pretty sure he's being, he's, uh, like if we're going with classes here, he's a red wizard of Thay, uh, which is actually the one of the villains from, from the newer, um, or he might be a necromancer, like some kind of necromantic guy too. He does like a couple of like, Yeah, necromantic. Movies. But I think days, it's all part yeah. of the red wizard of Thay kind of uh, subclass, so, so that also makes sense. Um, Guys, this is good. Take these notes just in case you need. I mean, yeah. I was like, let's do this. No, let's, 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 yeah. Those guys are all villains. Are we doing a one shot where we're all characters from Dungeons and Dragons 2000? Uh, I mean, uh, I think we do that though. To be fair, we have to like pull the, pull it on a hat. I'll be snails. Please, I, I wrote snails. I don't so think snails. I was just like, I don't know. No, yeah. I already called it. All right. She, she's like, I just want to be snails so I can smoke yeah, it. Yeah, talking about high. Smoke Which I think we're talking about. Look at that. Well, yeah. that thing. It's a real superpower. Um, uh, uh, I want to be uh, Damodar be, because yeah, I want to wear like blue, blue lipstick, lipstick, yeah. blue lipstick yeah. all the time. I couldn't get his name, so I'm just like Captain Blue Lips. No, we we like, call him uh, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. <laughs> When you I look at his face, and then you don't like that. You can't unsee Kevin. Spencer. I don't like that. Yeah, don't do that. But he also looks like Emo Hotep, so that's you know we, we he, that you way. know who he he, he okay, reminded so. me of yeah. the what's the the actor that played uh, the King of the Elves? In, and I should know this in uh, um, the Hugo Hobbit Weaving? movies. Oh. Uh, Hugo Calibre? No, 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 no. The King not of the Elves. Not Bore either. Oh, no, Calibre, not Calibre. Uh, yes. Uh, Calibrum, yeah, yeah, yes. I don't yes. know the guy's name, but it, he's like in bin and stuff, and he he no, had idea. like his gravi- he had gravitas. Like I was like, okay, all right. Like I, except he also looks like a terrible drag queen the whole yeah. time. Like, so that's like, like, what? every elf. Yeah, guy. Like, like what's going that lipstick on? Was bad. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing, man? It's real bad. I, see, I thought it was like a car- like he's like, oh, he's really cold, or like he's possessed by a demon, but it's just not. He just likes red lipstick. He's yeah. like, I just <laughs> like I like the way it feels. Like metallic, that could have been a fun. That could have been a really fun yeah. scene. Like he's just putting up yeah, yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. I'll so, be but, right f- with you, honey. Uh, basically, uh, Profian um, gets this magical power into the staff, and he thinks that the staff will make him able to control red dragons. Um, but then this red dragon comes out. And no. Uh, nope, him. it doesn't. But then no. luckily, he just easily kills this red it dragon with the door. He just kills this dragon. <laughs> like, super, with, yeah. super easy, barely an inconvenience. Yeah. Like, those are like pretty high on the CR scale, but, um, yeah. but okay. But then we also get a, a, a blood yeah. spilling scene that obviously uh, inspired... House of Dragons. Yeah, there's a, there's <laughs> actually a lot of inspiration for House of Dragons. The end has a scene too. I was like, oh, that was like. Do you think I House of Dragons like is just? I a feel full like this Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like <laughs> I mean, there are like like uh, Maybe there's princesses in it. Um, but yeah, there's I mean, Jeremy Irons snails. just out of the bed, out, out, out. There's a dude that's in the feet. That's probably an analog for snails, right? Yeah, sure. uh, the sounds come out of here reminded me of your PowerPoint. Presentation—the first one you ever showed me. I don't. It's like shoo, I think that's hurtful. Yeah. I think that's hurtful. But okay. Yeah. I mean, it's what it's what they applied. The lava gal was one of the best ones they put in there. <laughs> Karima, why do you put that in there with a star wipe? So um, I was like, what the fuck? So the next person we see is Marlon Wayne's. And uh, his Snails. friend, and we're Snails like, and Let's yeah. do the well, Snails Ridley. and Ridley, Ridley, yes. Ridley Freeman. Ridley Freeman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, a random name. Or generator. Freeborn, maybe. Freeborn. Freeborn. That's Freeborn, it. Freeborn, Ridley yeah. Freeborn, yeah. I think it's Freebird, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and he and his best friend Snails are like, <laughs> man, you know, they, they're... Those rich mages are destroying everything in our city, and we're not equal because we don't have magic, and they use everything against us. Like, there's us. a very morality play thing about yeah. this whole thing. We're like, everyone needs to be equal. Hand, Amen. Hand, handed. Uh, yeah. Also, does Marlon Wayne's like three times better now than he did back yeah, then? I don't know. Like, what the happened? Magic dirty him up or yeah, something? Like, or like, I, I, but he looked um, awful. He was ridiculous. In that well, thing. and it's funny because, like you said, it's like they open with. Um, like him, a narrator telling you that the princess or the empress wants equality oh, yes, for everyone. Exposition, guys. And but Love then it. we also Needed. get get her talking about it, of course. But yeah, so then we go back to the mages and and Provian's there, and he's basically like rolling nat twenty charisma yeah. to turn all these mages against the empress. Even like, though uh, if she doesn't have the scepter, then yeah, where does she, but like she's she, the what empress. Are you here? We should get it. Like, like, like she's the empress. What is yeah. she? You didn't you like elect her? She's part of the royal family or and something. Like she like, just has nobody. In she, that she has no one to 
one. Her they weren't presented at all. Yeah, seriously. One. She's like, all not a single one that came out and was like, hey, he talked about They all died. She, she is a woman. Yeah, that's true. Right, yeah. Like, they, they definitely like had some like kind of like gaslighting and like very tropey things. You're like, I yeah. forgot this was still happening in the 2000s. Yeah, 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 it's still happening yeah, in the yeah, 2023. Yeah, yeah so that he's basically like, she's weak and she'll lead us into war. So we have to try to take her set. We're going to force her to give us her scepter, basically. Um, and the mages are like, okay, we're all old men. Sure, let's do that. Uh, well, so, well, but before this, too, uh, uh, this is an important thing. Because uh, it, it's a, the it, impetus for the, our hero's journey. Uh, Ridley and Snails decide oh, they're right. going to rob a mage's <laughs> They're going to rob the mage's said, library said, or whatever. They're the haves yeah. and have nots, and we're the gotta gets. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. That was a definitely improv yeah, line. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do you have the. Oh, yes. Yeah, like so I have like one take, a it. bunch of uh, Marlon Wayne's facts from this movie. And, and one of them was that. I hope you keep saying them throughout the thing. <laughs> one of them was that. Um, Marlon Wayans was allowed to, uh, what did you just say? Improv. Improv three lines if he would remember three lines correctly. So basically that's how if they got the movie done. remember three lines. And, like, and deliver them the way the director wanted him to. So he'd be like, do these three mm-hmm. lines the way I want you to. And then you can take three lines and do whatever you want. And, like, that's how they got through the Which movie. lines do we think were the ones the director wrote? Because all of them were not good. Like, <laughs> No, he definitely seemed like, like he had split personalities throughout the movie. And yeah. I think he was improv when he was being, like, real goofy and doing no, more of, of like, the Ruby oh, Rod type thing. Of, the of course. Yeah. I mean, when he's getting killed. He yeah. improv- I, no, actually, I read that he improv that whole scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, him and Blue Lips, like, did it together. Said, yeah, now, now choke me. Now I'm gonna look like I like it a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> God, yeah, basically that's right there. Uh, um, yeah, so yeah, they're, they're they're those two are off on a journey to r- climb and rob a base. Also, uh, Prophean rolling twenties. Snails is rolling bad. Yeah, real bad. Whole time. Stealth checks loses everyone. <laughs> like. Uh, well, it's also like it, uh, uh, this must also be Marlon Wayne adding it to just screaming, screaming like Ruby Rod, like Ruby yeah, Rod yeah. screams. Yeah. In the middle of a quiet Two. time. Now, Fifth Element came out after, after. this. So no, it we, didn't. No, it didn't. 2000. Fifth Element came in like 95 or something. 90, yeah. Between 95 and 97. You know what? No, we shouldn't know either way. But yeah, but, um, but yeah, because yeah. it's not worth it. No, it's not worth it. But I'm just saying, like, all the screaming was like, what are we lying? So, 97, um, So then we get the Empress, and <laughs> she's with an old, an now older mage. Um, and he's telling her, he's like, they're, they're, uh, They're yeah, conspiring well, against older you. Older mages named Su- K- Symbol or Symbol or something like that? Symbol. Oh, I'll find it. Keep talking. Semperfy. Yeah. So, and he, well, first we see him and, uh, or no, not yet. So we see her with him first. And he's he's telling her about their plot against hit her and what she has to do. She has to hide, um, or she has to hold on to her scepter. She can't give it, give it up. But they need to send someone to try to find this red scepter that will control the red dragons because... She has the gold scepter, and if they get that the red the scepter, yeah, if they get the red scepter, then all the dragons will have to fight because there's only red and gold dragons, I, and yes. they'll fight. I'm not a dragon either. expert, but I'm pretty sure the CR for gold dragons much higher than the red yeah, dragon one. Right. And also, they spit like acid or something. Yeah, yeah. So so fucked up. Also, anywho, uh, but yeah. So she, she, he's like, I'll, I'll help you find. Uh, we'll, I'll look for where the the red uh scepter is, but you can't give yours up. You have to stay strong. And then uh, we come to him back at the magic school, and we meet another lady character, Marina. and she's Ooh, a nerd. You know what Marina's last name is? Severina. Pretensa. Oh, Pretensa. Well, because it's she's rich. She's so rich. They talk about it the whole time. A she's a rich mage. Male yeah. Yeah. Fifty-year-old male wrote mm-hmm. the script. Fifty-year-old male wrote the script. Yeah. So Marina Pretensa, and she's trying to help. Uh, this guy. This old guy. Other mage guy. Yeah, the good mage or whatever. Who cares she's, about him? Yeah, she's trying to help him um, find this scroll or how to, like, unlock this scroll that they need to find out where the Red Scepter is. And while they're looking for it, that's right when uh, Snails and, Those goofies are in and there Ridley trying to decide stuff. to break in and steal a bunch of Meanwhile, stuff Snails from is, the mages. Snails practicing all his comedy bits while they're trying to stealthily steal things from a... I mean, hey, man, look at this thing over here. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. He has a big giant tooth that but probably would have weighed like 500 pounds. He picks it up like it's. Like, yeah, it was so funny. Pound. He's like, yeah. I, well, I mean, it's a set piece, dude. It's like, okay. I, but at least pretend it's heavy. Like, 
That wouldn't work as a tooth if it weighed a, a pound. Like, what's the funniest thing I can pick up, guys? I'll have you vote real quick. Like, just, okay. Uh, and then, of course, they knock stuff over, do something stupid. I think they hit, like, one of the and magical Maria, items. And Maria and the guy here, and they're like, hey, let's figure out what's going on. And they send her to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And, of course, she knows magic. And what do they say? They're like, we're the cleaning crew. And she's like, more like the clean up crew. Yeah, like, um, oh. So I think the guy's name is Vilden Vilder. Vilden. That yes, was his name. Vilden. Vilden. Was his name. So Vilden, while she's off finding out what's going on. Uh, yeah, Vilden. Yeah. Um, Dra- uh, da- Damodar comes in with his, his, his like, like guys. Damodar. His, you know, I don't know. Group Stormtroopers. Of, yeah, basically. Um, also, we have not yet talked Foot about soldiers. we have not yet talked about the armor in this movie. So we should start with Damodar because that's the first one you see. Because it's the best. Oh my! It is the best. He's got these like metal shoulders that stick out, and then his cloak like hangs from it, and it looks. His is probably the best looking in it looks the movie, like five dollar plastic, but it still looks like plastic. Yes, his is the best and still looks like uh, plastic. No, the best, the best uh, armor in the movie belongs to that uh, the elf. The track elf. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. With, I mean, this is nipple, nipples on nipple it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, like light blue. We'll get to yeah. That. No, well, yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. So Damodar comes Wait in for and it. he he kills Dilvin or Dilda, Dil- yeah. Vilden, Dilda Vilden Dilda. to Dilda. get this. Scroll, Dilda Dilda. Yeah. but when he kills that, when he kills him, they get a whole. They come out and find it happening, and they get the scroll. So Marina, Ridley, and <laughs> Snails yeah, have to run. They're, they're, they're tied up. They're not running anywhere. They're literally. Oh right, so she's along yeah, she's got them sword. with her they're rope, yeah. yeah, and they have to do everything that she does. So um, yeah, they're along for and the then, ride. Basically, a bunch of gross jokes ensue. Yeah, uh, the, at her expense, unfortunately. Yeah, well, you know. <sighs> um, but somewhere. also, then she, like, casts, like, a fucking fifth-level spell on these motherfuckers. Like, this lightning ball yeah. attack that, like, knocks all of them, like, fucking just knocks them all out. And I was like, okay. She can do this. with that yeah, shit. Yeah, right, like, exactly. Did she with that? Maybe she had a, 20, a roll of 20 with an exploding die or something. I don't know, man. Just, like, just fucking... I mean, well, no, this is way before. So this is, like, third edition. Uh, so, like, just um, a 20. But they get outside, and they're running away from 50, them. So. They're running through the streets... And they find this, like, it look, it's supposed to look like a giant pile of garbage, I think. Um, but they realize that, like, it's the entrance to the sewer, so they jump. And who's there but a dwarf? No, like, like a there's drunken a sign that's something dwarf. Like, what's the dwarf's name? Because they don't ever fucking say it in the movie. <laughs> I think they do. They don't. No, it, find they, it. we know. We know it. We know. We, His we, name, right. It's listed. That's His why. His name is Elwood, Elwood Gutworthy. But I, I don't know that, that he word. ever said it. I don't he know. But there is a dwarf. So, uh. Played by Lee Arenberg. Like Lee Arenberg. So the guy who Pirates plays him. Yeah, he has he's been up. in a few things. Yep. Yeah. He was yeah. in Pirates of the Caribbean. And I have some, uh, facts about him too. Oh, good. But also just looking like, like Paul Giamatti. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the, red, the red beard. And yeah. I was like, oh, So wait. he is 5'8. He is not actually that short he of a man. Short. So, uh, he had to stoop his head. He had to squat when he was still. Um, he had to move, like, with his legs for our power, and then he had, like, extensive costuming. He described the role as the hardest he'd ever done and like, hell on earth, primarily due to having to perform action scenes while wearing a red beard that itched like crazy and about 50 pounds of clothing compete with the complete. And that always had flex and chicken in it. And he was the only one who was actually really wearing some, like, real armor, because they had actual chain mail. So he probably he did, did have, like, heavy pieces He did have some on. good, it looked like yeah. some kind of, like, fuse um, mail, like a rivet or something. He also uh, was. He owns a castle. He owns a castle in England that he runs as a hotel. So I'm like, I want to go there someday. And he was like having renovations done to it. So he kept flying back and forth between like Prague and there to get do the renovations. And then Marlon Wayans, another addition to that, Marlon Wayans was also shooting um, Requiem for a Dream at the same time. Or not. Yes. Yeah, Requiem for a Dream. Requiem for a Dream at the same time. And um, he was flying between L.A. and Prague because of the filming schedule, like, every few days. So it was, flight, good food on yeah, it was crazy. It was, I'm sure the filming Especially was just yeah. a complete pain. Like but um, I was excited. They they meet a dwarf, and as usual, and as in typical D&D fashion, this guy just joins them. He's like, okay, well, I'm with you now. Basically, you well, basically, he gets caught up in their shit, and he has to go. But yeah. he has no qualms about it after that, really. He's just like... 
Oh, I didn't want to do this. No, at one point he's like, we got to talk about getting paid. Like, yeah. yeah, you get paid someday. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that sounds bad. Yeah. And that's it. That's all he, yeah, he says like money mm-hmm. like three times. Well, yeah, something about money. And the thing is, I feel like there probably was a scene where they're in the sewer and they all introduce they themselves <laughs> and they cut it because he literally jumps into the sewer with them that's and then they're all just Elwood. walking. It, yeah. it feels like there's a lot of stuff that was yeah. cut. From yeah, probably. But sometimes you're like, that's probably from cut for German um, scenes. But also, he had the best lines in the movie. Like, he German really kind of... Him. No, God. No, uh, Elwood, he kind of narrated and he would like kind of break the fourth wall almost. And, and so that was... Sphere. That was kind of fun. He also said improv uh, carte blanche. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Um, so they go into the... I, oh, when they jump to the sewer too, and, and th- this is indicative to what your your theory that there's a scene missing. I was like, oh, we're on a sewer adventure, and then it's like, we're out. And yeah. they're hiding on a cart now. I'm that's like, what, what I mean. the fuck happened? Yeah, here? that's what I mean. It was uh, so also, jarring. It was such they're a hiding cut. with cloaks covering their bodies, but not their faces, which are on posters. And also yeah. the same exact clothes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, like she's wearing her like very rich clothes. Yeah. She's wearing, like, but also not clothes. no hood. Like, put that over your head. They could see your face and hair. It's um, on the poster. Oh, man, has got the goofy-ass hat on. Also, also, like, also, immediately on the poster. They had a poster. Yeah, like, somebody immediately really yeah. had a sketch. I mean, probably a magic spell, right? Jesus probably. Christ, like, immediately. Um. Also, like you said, I thought there was going to be a sewer scene, too, because he goes post- Post a guard at every entrance and exit and of the oh, sewer. Oh, yeah. sewer adventure. No, but no, I, no, but no. also, I'm like, there have to be thousands of... At least hundreds. At least hundreds of... But also, of even ed- if there yeah, weren't, like, you still have to get a guy to that Yeah, place. like... Sure, you sure do. Oh, my God. And there's, like, six dudes there. Probably. Um, so, because he didn't catch them, though, he has to go back and Profian punishes him. Mm. And he gives him something to take with him on his next... Which is kind of like an intellect devour, it seems. Like, it's in... It's like... Being his brain or something—it's very strange. I don't know. I don't. I can't tell you. What I don't know if it's is. actually some based on a real thing, though. Like I, mean, it I does, feel it like does they, some intellect devour. Terry Gygax is some. I feel like they so. made some stuff up because in the markets, some of the creatures that were there, I'm like, did they just go to Star Trek? Uh, no, some some of them too uh, were like caught like interpretations. Like, you can tell yeah. they were orcs, for instance. Right, right. Like, They look like ninja turtles. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. They're like, like, like blue and green. Like purple, like, what yeah. I'm like, like, what? The guy with the eye, I don't... He was called a hy- hyphen or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah. must have been like... They must have left that in third edition. I don't know. Yeah, that right, That was right. good. Gygax did mushrooms. and was like, yeah. oh, I want a new character. Well, I thought it was like okay. the gin at first. They had the third eye. I'm like, I don't know what the hell yeah. that is. Um, but yeah, he gives him this like... It's like a brain worm, but it doesn't hurt him. It's just like inside of him. It seems to be hurting him. It seems to be giving him discomfort. Well, it's hurting him. Well, yeah, like, like, it's like making his veins die. Yeah, and his, like his ears. But and, it, and he explains it like basically, I gotta get this out of my head. At it's one point. always like, there. Okay, so then we get our pub scene. Woohoo! They're at a pub and they're drinking this, some it was ale. Kind of a cool. Uh, they, where they crawl I said the cool tavern yeah, yeah he really yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. they got, like, yeah. got a halfling in there yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I dug that identifying the races when they yeah. go out I dug that shot it was like really coolly done the, the weird orc looking dudes that maybe are orcs this might be the first shot I was like okay let's. I'm good with sure. this movie let's, let's do this now so uh, they're drinking their ales and stuff and then um uh, they, we, we also right before this too uh, we hear about the, the first of the uh, mention of the emperor's tracker Norda Oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. which you're like, we don't yeah. see her yet. They just say like, he's yeah. going to be a real badass. We're going to care about this character. Yeah, it's going to be a character that is going to be ferocious. Yeah, <sighs> she's a tracker. Like she's the best tracker there is. But you right? also then your brain ticks ranger class. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so Ridley and Snails are like, well, it's basically Snails like we got ditch these people get out of here because we're poor and they're rich and we yeah. got our own problems basically. Yeah. And but then also boobs. Yeah, and then Marina's like, well, you, you were supposed to be doing this, like, save the world. Yeah, she's okay, like, this is for the Norris. Empress. Yeah, and this guy's like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, obviously we're going to all his convictions that. for yeah. some yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And the dwarf's just like, like, okay. What's the chance that we could? It's like, yeah. I want money. And the like, dwarf right. is just like, okay, I'll go along. Yeah, if I get paid, I'll go along. But then we see a really pretty elf come into the pub. Yeah. And she's, you know, mm, mm, of color. So, of course, Marlon Wayans is huh. like, ooh. I thought Marlon Wayans was going to reveal, because the way his hat was sitting on his ears, I thought he was going to reveal that he was like a secret elf or something. Secret elf. Yeah. Like, he was like hiding, elf. like he was hiding his race or something, because he had like a hat over his ears very tightly, and because she was a black elf, I was like, yeah. oh, maybe he's, he's a black probably elf. like, I can't remember like, his hair, it's, it's from my other movie. Well, yeah, right, right, they just covered it, yeah. <laughs> also, he was just riffing. He's like, hey, baby, want to see that booty? And be like, what? Yeah. 
Okay. You know why? Because it's jarring. really tight no, no, in the front knows. and it's yeah. just yeah, sliding it's it's down. It's That's a cape. I didn't put it on yeah. um, <laughs> It's not choking me a little bit. Um, it's like a pleasant choking. Right? Like, right? Yeah. Like a nice choke. Yeah. Thanks, Daddy. Um, so, yeah. So, he's hitting on her. Which and, is, but then give me your best bottle of wine, make it go cheapest. Yeah. And then he gets a fist bump too, which I'm like, okay. No, I do love that I'm the guy's that. like, yeah, I'm in yeah. for that. I'm in for that. But she's also like not disinterested because, of course, we know it's Norda. They haven't told us yet, yeah, but like, obviously, yeah. Because like, yeah, first of all, she's wearing like out of there, like wearing the best costume out of anyone there already, and like. And like doesn't look like ass like everyone else yeah. in the tavern does. She's Everybody wearing, looks like they don't look like scrubs, which you should look like a tavern. She's wearing a this light blue yeah, like plate six, mail. So let's talk about this ugly ass plate mail. Yeah, I think you mean really gorgeous. It's Plastic like mail. Yeah. ice blue. It's actually like the same color as his lipstick. Someone mm. really liked that color. It, might, it, it is. Like, it's very close. It to might be like a certain a certain like orochium or something like, like a, a certain okay. metal. Sure. Uh, you are really trying hard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so like it's a certain metal it's ice blue, blue, but it's just she has like just well. the front plate and then just the knee parts down. Like a woman would. Have. And then yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah. see later under her cloak, her her clothing is like pink. So she's wearing like pastels because yeah. she's a lady elf, yeah, she's I a lady guess. Elf. Yeah, yeah. She can't wear like What's your what point? a ranger would wear, yeah. like dark clothes. I mean, what if she's <laughs> ranging, what if she's ranging by a she cool is lady. a very oh, secretive, right. oh, right. yeah. she's a very secretive tracker. Sure, that's trying to stay in the shadows. But it's also wearing half plate. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> and like, wearing pink and black. Yeah. You get disadvantage on yeah. self checks, you dumbass. So anyway, he hits on her, but then uh, our the uh, what's his face Damador shows up with his dudes again. Damador is a great name, by the way. Yeah, it really is. Um, and the only uh, is. Profi, they create a, a distraction no, so they can run out. I and weird saying it, yeah. I feel like this was probably one it's of his improvised lines. Yeah, 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 a lot of side effects. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but taking Profi. Uh, but this is definitely one of Marlin's improvised. Uh, Lines okay. because they you see any line here because I'll be like they, a distraction gets created really without them or does he create the distraction I can't remember but uh, they are running out and they're like come on we gotta go and he's like what I was talking to her she you know and then and then he's he goes. All right, I lied. I just want to hit it. That's what he says, and yeah. I'm like, I love that. I love that so he's just like, he I just want to hit dude, it. He is the dude playing yeah. a yeah. like the D O O D D zero zero D dude yeah. playing a dungeon. By the way, he's the way he's the great that Dungeon Dragons a lot. Yeah. He's probably the one. Who's yeah. So the most another of all the another fact, he played since high school. Yeah, I believe that. I was like, that's awesome. Was he always the dude? He's like, fine, Chuck. There was one other character. There was one other actor in it who also played D&D. It was Lee Ehrenberg. He played every once in a while. And then Marlon Wayans played. I just loved that. That was so charming to me. I'm like, Marlon Wayans played the most D&D. Awesome. All right. So uh, I actually don't know what scene comes next because I just wrote lame scene. Um, Hold up. Uh, oh, first off, they're all we in the scene. Um, Ridley and Marina go into the map. Oh, like, that's what it is. Yeah, no, this is still. Well, he's like, in, in he's the like scene. my dad used to do this. You put your fingers and you say these words. I'm like, what the? He's fuck? like, bippity boppity boo. No, and he also, who the fuck is your also, dad? You also knew right from the beginning when he was like, mages, they have all the magic, and we don't. And you're like, he's going to be a secret his fucking dad mage. Left yeah, he's, something when he was he's a definitely a mage. What, what does like, Marlon Wayans say to try to get into the map? He's like bippity boppity boo. He says bidet, bidet, bidet. <laughs> That's amazing. Another improvised scene. Oh my god. I'm well, he eventually does get into the map. Yeah. yeah. So what? He said bidet, bidet. And then he just like bidet. pulls the dwarf with him, right? Because doesn't yeah. the dwarf go too? No, don't, like, no, no. They get pulled out of the map. Ridley and Marina get pulled out of the map. I'm like, oh, there's race inside there that were start, they talk about the rods starting the Great War. They're like talking about all this shit. Like, expedition, like, you don't want to know this we're really like, anyway. They're like, well, we had a tough time in the tavern. Like, we had a tougher time in that map. And you're like, but you never get to really learn anything. Yeah, like, like, but we can't do that scene because we ran out of money. Yeah, no, but the only thing, the only scene, the only scene you do get in there is them. Remember, you do get the scene where they're like talking, and she's like, "You need to, um, you need to help the Empress." And he's like, "I don't have to help the Empress." Yeah, this was what we were talking not, about before, where they're going to split up almost. They're like. Basically, like, and don't like, split the party. Yeah, but they don't go like, into the map. I was they sure do. They... they were in the map. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. dumb. Yeah, okay. Because you kind of saw them like 2D walking around the map for like a minute or two, and you're like, oh, this, this is going to be something. Yeah. But it is nothing. It's nothing happens. I'm like, okay. And they're like, there's race in there. And like, 
Okay. <laughs> Never. Nothing else is ever explained. It's just so. Like, what the fuck was the point of they that? They get out of there and they go to the markets. We get a markets scene. Um, oh wait, so you gotta have markets. Yeah, right? absolutely. Uh, they're hitting all the hot spots, the D and D hot spots. Well, because um, they, they have to buy gear because they don't have any gear at this point. Right. Of course. And of course, they have money because they stole stuff from the maze tower. I guess. Well, in the market, Snell's just stealing shit while he's there too. He's just. Literally, including, including people wearing, are watching him, including and another Marlon Wayans uh, uh, improv where he's just wearing boots on his head. Yes, yeah, and he's yeah. literally stealing the stuff no, in front of shopkeepers, and, just and no one, yeah, no one's stopping him. Also, everyone is looking at them in this. Like, I don't know if the director's like, make sure you look right at them. Yeah, like, yeah, like but they're stealing window. things, yeah. so it's like you'd see them yeah. stealing nope. things. It was, no, it nope. didn't make any sense. Nope. Um, right so right I don't remember oh, what they tried to I do. said blue eye guy, blue he, blue face guy with a third eye. I was like, oh, it's Majin Buu from uh, Dragon Ball. He had that little mm. l- weird little dollop point on that on his head, and I was like, oh, okay. I uh, thought he was a degenerate first, and then he had a third eye, and I was like, that's not. It's like I don't get, I don't get what you what this is. And it's like basically like, oh, we're gonna follow this guy back to the thieves guild, and we're gonna get answers and probably help because we're thieves and they're thieves. Honor which is yeah. a, which is a classic, a classic DMV sure. move. You like piss the guy off, like, oh, yeah. you gotta get your boss, and then um, they call him back. But what I love is when they're chasing them through the markets. The last thing that Marlon grabs mm. is he grabs a dead stuffed cat, yeah. and then he's like playing with it. And I yeah. that was when I fell in love with his character. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. This is that great. Was I love it. Uh, I, I, I wrote, it. Marlon, this roll is shit. Do the best that, that you can with yeah, it. Yeah, and he is. He's making the most out of it. But but he now just, we know that he made the roll shit partially himself. Oh, I took so it off already. He just seemed to be having fun. I can't believe that fits over your glasses. Don't, don't bring your glasses. Let's, let's not. Do uh, none shall pass. You have to say it out of there because it's sounding good, sound cool. I don't know. <laughs> I so so they, they, go to, they go to meet Xylus. Yeah. Uh, who is the guardian of the dragon's eye. And he's also stone. like a head thief for like... Yeah, he's like the thief And also yeah. living his best life yeah, as an is. actor. He's just having a great time. Like he's like, he's he's doing some kind of... Didn't like you know that actor bullshit. from something? You knew him from something. Yeah, right? he's Riff Raff from oh, yeah. Rocky Horror Picture he's from Show. from Rocky Horror Picture Show, And, and yeah. a bunch of other things, so... He's Riff Raff. Yeah. All right. He was definitely... Che- he probably behind Jeremy Irons was the most chewing up scenery. Yes. But just like... He improvised some lines to... Um, I guess. I, but I like this actor he's going for. It. At the end um, of the maze scene, when he survives, they wanted him to say something like, well, like uh, honor or dishonor amongst thieves or something. But he said, I guess what he said was, oh, what a romantic notion. And they were like, we like ours better. He's like, nope. I'm not taking it. Also, yeah, I like that though. Also, yeah, exactly. When he first meets Rena, he slaps her ass very fiercely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, I, I wrote, she was, was just fully assaulted by yeah. two yep. separate men. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, but hey, guys, we finally get to this maze. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's the dragon's eyes hit in a maze, and he's like, I hit it in there. If you can get it, though, it's yours. Okay, really. And quick. also, there's a full viewing window for this yeah, whole thing. No, I just tried to. <laughs> Turn my open my screen and I'm like, why won't I recognize? Stop recognizing my face! (laughs) That's not the way that works. That's not your face. Kids, don't do drugs. Yeah, so there's a maze and everyone can like watch. Um, yeah, what's yeah, happening sexy inside? Walk. They can watch because the maze is a straight fucking line. Yeah, it's just like your room, then another room. Yeah, it's, uh, another it's like room. I was like, this is a Legend of the Hidden Temple it's a set. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's a, a gauntlet. gauntlet. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yep. So, it's a shit gauntlet, by the way. Yeah. Like, so, but he goes just in one step, and everything gets shot at you. Yeah. Right? So he okay. goes in, and the first Giant thing they have is like flying at your face. Yeah. The first thing they have is like uh, swinging axes. Yeah, it's like a no. That what was the first one? The first one was swinging. Yeah, the first one was the swinging. Big like oh, pendulum, yeah, and then the technique. next one was the fire, the room with the fire, all the fire, uh, and, and the, you eyeballs. Step to the eyeballs, and the stuff of the red eyes. But they, no, some of them were, were the first one was yeah. with like the light, though he couldn't step into. the Oh light. yeah, the the, the lights were the lights made, made the heads go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought there was one, there but was, also like, just the know. light makes the pendulum. So that yeah. doesn't make any sense. Like what? What? Well, no, because that, uh, that magic. Didn't things come? The the, the first, he put his hand up to like set off the first part, but it's in the same room still. Oh, okay. And the next part was getting up. Was it, all the yeah, things okay. were going at the same time. Because there was yeah. literally like stuff coming out of the yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. I forgot I that know. part. So yeah, like, no, there was a ball spike trap. They, literally, the first, he steps in and like, and he's like, oh, oh yeah, oh, it could have yeah, yeah, my right. that tried oh, to hit me in the dick. It could have took my virility. And you're like, okay, <laughs> man. Like, man d- yeah, dude, this is fucking a dick move. Like, give him like two steps so he can like make. But also, like, 
He said that people have been in here before, which means they're resetting these traps. Yeah, also, what there's the no fuck, dead bodies dude? at all. <laughs> Were they cleaning out the bodies? Also, like, if you're resetting the traps, you can get past some yeah, of the traps. Yeah, also, you find out later, he didn't get past any of the traps. Yeah. Ridley was the first person to get to beat this maze. So, again, someone was resetting this maze, because that doesn't just reset itself. Okay. But whatever. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, and then it, it, it gets like yeah. increasingly insane. I have a dick sword coming up. <laughs> yeah, it's a, I have a ball spike trap. Um, and people are betting on if he's going to make it through. Which yeah. also, if no one's ever made it through, what's this betting about? Yeah, this yeah. is like a right. ninja warrior course at this point as well. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Death. Yes, yep. death. Yeah. Like there's a there's a warp wall. There's a the the and there's not, um, I did write dick sword. There's nothing. There's <laughs> no sort of like intelligence needed though for this. It's just like yeah. Don't figure die. It out. Yeah. Like, don't yeah. die. Figure it out. He even, like, jumps through some of the traps, just, like, runs real fast and jumps through them. Yeah, the, like, like, the one with the eyeballs, he just runs. Yeah. Um, this also yeah. had a real Indiana Jones feel to it, oh, yeah, and this definitely. is not the first, or maybe at least not the last time you get an Indiana Jones His feel. His character gave me, like, a, a Han Solo vibe, almost, with the costume, the yeah. costuming, you know, like, the... Or you said also, jacket. like, a, like, a Rick from, uh, the mummy, Rick. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. appearance on Sequest, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Aww. That was the only other thing that he did, right? It was a guest appearance on Sequest. Uh, hey, he, he worked until 2009, then... I don't believe that. Died, maybe? Do not believe he, he must die? die? Heroin. Uh, Come on! Yeah, probably. He's probably uh, living in Canada uh, There's some great commentary by Silas. I did not write it down, but I, I enjoyed it. I did write that I enjoyed it. Um... Uh, oh, then he goes, oh, let's have her get a closer look. I thought he was like, going to throw her in the maze. So did I! And then... And then no, the last thing is the ceiling spikes when he gets to like the the last piece. Yeah, and the ceiling spikes. It, the ceiling is open. The spikes are coming down. There's plenty of room between the spikes, like not threatening at all. And yeah. it's like, nope. Then the spikes didn't hit me. I win. I think maybe she was supposed to be in that, and then they were like, "It's too much. We can't film it." So it's also it was a very tight scene. area, especially yeah. at the end, like. It was would have been hard to fit two people in the shot. I think yeah. at that point. Yeah, I, think, I mean, if we're gonna get this thing like. One negative because it's all one positive. Negative, just one. Yeah, it, it's just the the shortedness of like some of the scenes where you just they're like we're gonna do a thing and they're like like no never mind we're not doing that and you're like and that okay. maze with the gauntlet maze ninja warrior course was very short too I was like oh it's already done yeah it's like, it like a three? minotaur or some bullshit like, like things that's it yeah. something like is it like a, an a, a beholder or something like something in there like nothing yeah it was it was very gelatinous short. cube yeah no. nothing. Yeah. They, no, they three, ran out of budget for, like, things. costumes, I think. Yeah. Like, they they could have just put a pile of jello there and be like, ah, gelatinous cube! Or, or a chest and made it, like, move around or something. Yeah, the budget was half. Mimic. The budget was half that beholder. Um, um, but then we get a scene where there's a brawl in the guild, and uh, she drops the... Or, no, I Damodar remember. Is Damodar just, shows up. Damodar, and, and Damodar shows up again. He put, like, a, yeah. home, a tracking beacon on this guy. And also, so, it's, like, the homeless crew versus, like... The fucking deck yeah, out yeah, yeah. like, what? These guys yeah. had no weapons yeah. at all. Like, we'll jump them from behind on the I love that, that. yeah. Fully armored. Yeah, exactly. You would be yeah. Kevin Holy Spacey fuck. fully armored. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, like but then he says, he goes, um, he goes, I'm gonna light this, hand. he goes, I'll light this on fire. Clear a path. And, uh, they, or no, he just lights it. He lights it and he's like, clear a path, all right, and I'll put it out. So he lights the, the scroll on fire. Uh, they kind of clear a path. He starts putting it out. But then, of course, they get jumped, and then it turns into just like a brawl for all. But here's my favorite part: is this was another Indiana but not Jones brawl scene? For all. No, the, the WWE, the um, it was like an in, another Indiana Jones scene because the scrolls on the floor, so they're chasing it. But also, and she's crawling. I loved this scene because the scroll it was like burn at the end, and it looked just like a giant, like That's a giant joint, and, and it was it, like chase the also, giant you joint. Know, you also know Marlon Wayne made that joke like a thousand times. Right? Before. I know. Hey, hey, can I pretend to smoke it? Yeah. yeah. They're like, no. no. <laughs> I did uh, my three lines, though. I did my three lines. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but while they are cha- they're trying to get a- away, she gets captured. Uh, Marina oh, gets captured gets by captured. Damodar. Yeah. Damn, she's damn, the lady. Damn, 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 damn. Also, she literally can, like, kill six dudes with she's one She's a mage! And, you, and, like, throughout this, is just like... She is helpless for like, most of the spell shots or what's going on here. Yeah. I, don't I need know. I need a long rest. Like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> can you throw a firebolt or something in here? Lady? Something. <laughs> and he got then, some cantrips. Come on. Yeah, but he gets a hold of her, and then his little uh, intellect devourers or yeah, whatever the little, they are come out. Tentacles. Yeah, yeah. we get our tentacle boards. He said he's yeah. gonna suck her. That's what he tells. Yes, me. and I'm like, nope. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's supposed to be like a young. Ooh. I was like, lady. this is, this turns into a different movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Um, it was not what we were expecting, but yeah. And then she, like, they just. You know, go I know what she knew. I had. It's like I'm not going there. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Also, the porno version of this has that. Scene also, the airworms yeah. were try and judge me. The airworms were uncomfortable. To yeah, watch. they were pretty gross for like 2000 CGI. It was definitely like mm. it was. You CGI. know, what? it was as creepy as uh, when you first saw the earworms in Wrath of Khan, where they're not like as creepy as the Borg, but they're still gross. The, uh, You're like, Borg. ooh, that's. Gross. I always see things that like. We stick this in your head and then read your yeah, brain. No, yeah, no. I was hoping that he Why? would get like he would improv a little more in that scene where he's like. Oh, you're into that? Like, so yeah. <laughs> Feet, really? Thank you. You seem like my lipstick. Thank oh my you. God. Mm, I, I think, you know, that means a lot to me. But also, like, it just reads your brain. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Sure. I, well, yeah, it's like, and she's like, ah, it hurts. And then she's like, I'm fine, though. Yeah, like, you think there's going to be some permanent fucking damage. Yeah, like, she her, has like, a white PTSD. streak in hair or something. Yeah, exactly. Really yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Nothing, there is no permanent damage or even temporary damage. Guys, and we do find out in this next scene, though, that dwarves are terrified of horses. He's That's crying. Right. Yeah. He's crying on the horse. The point of crying yeah. was on the horse. I'm like, okay. That's the only thing that comes out of that scene. Everything else sucks. Oh, though, also, he's hitting on, he's hitting on Norda. That's now saying Norda. And Norda's, and he's like, I'm 23. I, you know, I, I will take a potion if it makes, it be your age if it makes me, you know, do with you. And she's like, I'm 234. So yeah. That's too much potion or something. I'm like, okay. Yeah. All right, man. Like, you got, you got a scene. Someone else lost a scene, but you got that So, scene. He, is he the Donnie Lebowski of this movie? Oh no! 100%. Like relentlessly hitting. Him. I mean, it, it's this, a tro- this was for you, Greg. It, it's it's a full trope in D and D, so it makes sense. It makes sense. like okay. It's like that's also why I love it in my games. And also rolling badly on the on this uh, this charisma. Oh, yeah, like, do a charisma deck too. Okay, well, I'm just like okay, pal. Uh, also, she Wait, is hey, cool. fucking useless. Can we talk about how bad she does she nothing? Does absolutely nothing in this movie. Like I don't think you see her swing a weapon even once. I'm just like, like she's almost, supposed to be this bad arrow, tracker. Like, you think she's going to help in anything? She helps in nothing. She does nothing. I don't remember. Did she shoot an arrow? Did she have a bow and arrow? Women so no. much. Did she have a bow and arrow? She was the lamest character. Yeah, like even more it lame was than really Marina. Sad. Like, yeah, because she basically Marina was lame. She was she, she was using fun. she didn't need powers. She had no fucking mage powers. She uh, she fully had that lightning bolt. That's lightning it. Ball that the she only used, like, seven she times did. like chain lightning. She's like chain spamming chain lightning on people the whole time. Uh, no, she had one where she had the magic rope. I forgot that magic rope. That was, that's a good one. That was a fun little scene. Um, around with it. So we do get to see some CGI beholders here, which are creepy as fuck. And they, gross, uh, so what's weird. funny is they also had a practical beholder. If you notice in the in the background of the one scene, it was like a rubber dude. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, what? <laughs> you know, I think they must have had the rubber guy the whole time at first and like, that looks like shit. We gotta like Yeah, they're like, that. no, yeah. Like, move like $2 million over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. $2 million. <laughs> <laughs> and it still looks like shit, but at least it's moving shit now. So anyway, they've, they've tracked Marina to where they're keeping her. And so they're going in to get her. So Noldar, 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 Noemdar, Noemdar, Noemdar is there. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Yeah. He, yes. he was like two in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, they make the two guys that the two rogues use their grappling hooks while they just watch. Like well, they. Yeah. 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 Well, they make the them while well, Nol Nol Nordar Nor. What's her name? Norda. She's there. She makes a. She just watches. Yeah. She's a VPN. She does nothing. No. He doesn't help. No. Nope. Like, he was seven when this movie came yeah. out. <laughs> okay. Seven years old. No M. Dar. He's a little cutie. Taking a side of probably. What if we found out this is one of his favorite movies? Friend of the we podcast. No M. Dar. He will not say that. You never know. He won't say it. We all like There's stupid, no weird movies. No, we like some kids. kind of weird, dumb he Scottish stupid thing. Movie I like. Scottish, right? He watched something. You're going to say Short Circuit and you're wrong. Like, oh, I like watching trains because I'm Scottish. <laughs> I like watching trees. That's what I did. In Scotland, you watch the trees. What, you have a Scottish accent? I just wish I lived in Scotland. I just wish you lived in Scotland. I just wish you lived in Scotland. I just wish you lived in I just did Billy Boy accent. Just watch the trees. Is he Scottish trees. too? Yeah. And Jamie loves the, the podcast. Is a, the, 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 do you know that Mary, the, uh, yeah, Donald, yeah. Yeah, yep. they do a podcast yeah. and she is obsessed with it. Right? Yeah. 
you know, uh, let's, enjoy uh, it. let's keep going. Um, yeah. So yeah, so they get they get there. Snails um, do more bad rolls. Snails, inside. yeah. So snails this, tries to go get, and he falls into some quick. No, we have to check one. He just, which I like this effect a lot. Yeah, it was cool. Guess what? I know how this effect was done. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Yeah. Which Marlon Wayne you can said because it's all over him. Marlon Wayne said they had to do the scene three times, and he fucking hated it. Because he was like, I grew up on oatmeal in the projects, and I never, ever wanted to, like, see it again. And then I got covered in it for, like, a whole day. <laughs> and he's like, I hate oatmeal so much because of that in this movie. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, it was good. It looked good. He did. He got caught in quicksand, and then he starts. But then Snails, like, is, like, rolls a, I don't know, confidence check. I know that's not a thing. But he, like, well, he's just, like, you know, yeah, he just there. pulls his sword Saving out. He's, breath. like, I'm going to fight this guy, the the lead guard, who's, like, a murder monster. Um, murder and he just, they the start, yeah, they start fighting. And then uh, Ridley finds um, Marina. Yay for PTSD. And gets, she and gets, a, hot, and gets PTSD. a hot girl hug, too. Yeah. But she's, like, you found me. me. Yeah. But then they come, they find Snails, and he's getting murdered by Damodar, basically. And again, I'm like, she's useless! Use your lightning thing again! Yeah, she like, like, so, like, so there, there's a really, there's a really great stage fight here, and, she, yeah. and, and, and you, have, Jones. you have an awesome this is major Jones view, week. and you have a dude, like, he's a rogue, you know, he's an yeah. arcane trickster, I guess you'd be a fan of the other movie, uh, but he, he's, like, roguing it up, just slicing people up. And, uh, and, you know, and then she gets a torch and, like, bumps and do it on the head. And I'm like, what? And that's really all she does. After that, she does yeah. nothing else. I'm like, what is wrong? It was weird. Like, you, get, you have cantrips. Yeah. Use them. Use them. What are you doing here? There's got to be anything else, though. She anything. knocked him and, like, six other dudes down at the beginning of this movie. She at least got a short rest in that cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what But you know what? They might not have, the, the DM might not have given a trick. Oh, that's messed up. That's yeah. rude. Yeah. That's rude. Um, but yeah, good thing he took so long killing no him, too. Because he hates, had her... The DM hates women. He had her, like, down in the dungeon, and then they make it all the way up to the top of the castle. Then he murders them. He throws them off. No, no. Murders who? Snails. Yeah. Snails yeah. gets wrecked. Yeah. He gets yeah. murked. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, Snails up top. No escape. Face to face. Oh, he's gonna die. Snails dead. Yep. I was like, I didn't think they were going to kill his character. But then like, also, shit. Shit. like, seconds after, you're like, oh, really? Here he goes. He's going to take... No, he also is stabbed directly through his chest, like, yep. really deeply. Yeah. Like, like does like, everyone just die? Like, right here. Yeah, I'm like, is he going to take a long Is he in pain? Yeah. <laughs> no vital, like, full party what if, wife. <laughs> what if new characters showed up <laughs> right, right away? And also, yeah. this, this was very DM-ish, too, where they're like... He, he got level at zero hit points. He failed a bunch of death saving throws. And was, yeah, but the elves saved him because they're magic. Right. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah sure. exactly. Like, we need that guy. We need that one, yeah, unfortunately. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got He's the, part of the story. He's like um, the chosen one shit. So then we yeah. go back to the mage council, and basically the empress and uh, Profian are, like, dropping mics and to Profian each other. Yeah. yeah, they're like... One of these mages has a straight-up New York accent when he's talking. <laughs> Yeah, right, we're gonna get him. He's like, yeah, we won't gonna listen. Yeah. We're gonna listen to Profian. He's like our guy. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, well, you, gotta, you have to have some teamsters in the movie, yeah. right? right yeah, exactly. He's like, happens. we're gonna break their necks and bury them in the sand. Like, Is that a, was that a good take? That was a good take. We're yeah. gonna make you sleep with the fishes. And you're like, okay, that's <laughs> because weird. we're gonna cast consuming water on you, and you're gonna be drowned. <laughs> it's a five foot cube of water. <laughs> And I will put fishes in it for flavor. Mm, yummy. Right, DM? Um, fishes are in there. There's fishes. There's some Although, point. Jerry Anderson's scene is on a fucking 11. Yeah. Like, his sneers, like, all his teeth. Yeah, and you know, I think every that, word he says, like, like, we got coke for you, bud. Yeah. Like, you got, <laughs> yeah. I said cocaine, definitely. I was we like, you don't like cocaine. this cocaine, though. And yeah. Like, okay, I'm yeah. ready to go. It's me, Ska, back yeah. out there. So, uh, so, yeah, he and her basically, like, going against each other in front of this mages council and she's like I really thought all of you were better than you are and he's like but we're not and you are the evil one and she's like I'm not evil at all but if you're all gonna be stupid enough to follow this guy then I'm gonna fight you and she like drops the mic well, and walks I also, away I also like but the the worst part about her character and this is the writing not her 
And she's like, I want equality for all people. Yeah. All people will be equal and have nothing different. I'm like, that's not a thing. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. You can't, that's not. Yeah, and you're not yeah, going to get these do. fucking rich ass bitches to vote yeah. for this. Yeah, like, yeah. Magical beings. Like, you're not going to get these assholes to vote full communism. So, uh, <laughs> quick fun fact about Thora Birch full in this comedy. movie. Oh. My, another fun fact. Um, she had just finished filming American Beauty. And she took this role Kevin specifically Spacey. because it Kevin was like Spacey, it was so. dumb and fun, and her character is positive, and she needed to like wipe out all the negativity from American Beauty and how and dark now, it is. Everything yeah. is equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like what? Shit. She had big uh, uh, princess queen from the American uh, from Neverending Story uh, vibes. Yes, cool. for so sure. I agree with that. Yeah, I loved her outfits. They, they were I, I was just, I I wrote that down. Someone like they get they dress her. Fucking well. Yes. Um, costuming wasn't too bad. There was like costume is great. Like I said yeah. some of the armor was funny, but like the costuming, like I love Jeremy Irons costume. Um, well, dress you, was really as nice. you know, that armory is different than costume. You know, like, some of it was much different. shit. <laughs> no, a lot of almost all of it. Was like, it looked like the plastic armor that you get. Like it looked like it was made of Castle Grace. What I think part of it was like it was really. definitely like sprayed foam in a lot of cases. Oh yeah, for sure. It looked like sprayed plastic to me. Like, yeah, that, it might like, be plastic too. Yeah, but it was definitely um, like sprayed like light. To me. I loved well, how foam was bad. I loved how snails had like a medieval uh, street look going. I think Nora <laughs> had had uh, ED, uh, had like the foam on because she had a couple kneeling scenes and like, there wasn't a lot of warping. Yeah, and so I thought it looked more like a foam than it looked like a uh, plastic. Um, so then, uh, we get a scene where he's like, oh, are you okay? And she's like, fine. I really didn't pay attention to this. It's a boring yeah. kissing scene. They finally... Nah, yeah, yeah. I was like, kissing, yeah. wizard. Oh, but yeah. So it's like the fucking kissing, but then it's like, this cameraman's like, put me on the dolly. Let's go. Like, yeah. Dee, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, what's Sweet, the the epic kiss. Like, what's the fucking the best kiss? Oh, is that what they were implying? <laughs> I didn't get that. I, I so guess stupid. I was like, what is it happening? Was, it was the funniest scene of this movie because it's just so dumb. Like, um, we can't just have them regular kiss. Let's have this guy fly the fuck around in a helicopter yeah. to watch him kiss. Like, what the fuck? Is yeah. Sure. They didn't have drones back then, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Perfect. Uh, we get a sweet sword, though. Sweet sword showing up. Because elven sword. Mm. By the way, that sword looked like a trash. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the blade was super thin and, like, flat. And I was like, I love that it had, like, that weird effect they put in. Yeah. Like, ooh, yeah. magical. Yeah. <laughs> um, it will protect you. That's what yeah, they said. Okay. The weapon will By the protect way, you. It does not <laughs> <really> <laughs> <good> <laughs> job. Fuck you elves with your fucking garbage. <laughs> You're like, bull- like your bullshit. Like the DM was like, ah, your party got wiped. Uh, I may have better weapons for you. And he <laughs> yeah. also heals you. Uh, the full this is plus one. To and you get your sp- your one roll. spell slot you have, Marina, back because you have one that, uh, one fifth level spell slot. Is all your character gets. <laughs> Fire that fucking lightning bolt again. Um, you get a long rest for this. For that kiss, we give you a long rest. Uh, uh, <laughs> because it was tongue, the DM rolls to get all your spell slots back. Um, yeah, so, yeah, now, now they're, like, they go, they're, it's, like, the final scene, basically. Yeah. Uh, the, the final, the final battle scene set, setting up. Well, no, he gets the, he basically, they get caught. Or, no. No, no, no this is before that. Dr- yeah. Damodar, oh, I guess they do start the final fights. You're right, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. So, yeah, he, he, like, gets put in this, like, he's, like, slide, he's, like, in this cave with, like, a green tree in it or some bullshit. And then there's, and he's, like, sitting, slides in a thing, and it's like, oh! Like this close up of his face, and then he's like going towards some blades. It's like the Goonies, I think. Yeah, it's basically yeah. like a, like a Goonies oh, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, movie yeah. scene. And then he's in a treasure room, and then he finds that goofy looking staff. <laughs> that staff looks like shit. Oh, I, that's why I wrote I wrote yes. traps on traps on traps on traps because there were lots yeah. of traps. I was like, this guy did not watch for traps at all. Yeah. They really weren't traps. No. So they're just like just part of the thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like part yeah. of the tour. It yeah. was like, but also that staff looks. Like, yeah. I was like, trash. So, it, I liked that it was supposed to look like bones or whatever. I think it was sure. supposed to, but it they like painted it. Apple red. But yeah, <laughs> they painted it like bright red. It looked yeah. like plastic. It, it was like it black like and red. Toy. It looked so dumb. Like, it it, it, it would have been funny if, like, Jeremy Hunter would walk up and, like, press that little ball and it would squeak. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or it was like one of those ones that, like, let everyone. <laughs> But um, oh, wow. of course he, of course he comes out with the staff and Damodar's right there, yeah, just dude. chilling. And he's yeah. like, "I'm gonna take it." But also, oh, he's got his kidnapped. Yeah, also has fully taken out Norda, the best truck of all time. He's stuck up on her. Yeah. Fuck! 
<laughs> she is absolutely you are useless. Useless. Like, yeah. like this is one of those characters. That, like the person wrote a really good story for the character, but then did rolling for the like and like oh I gotta keep these rolls. I, I rolled a eight, I have three eights and a six, and I one ten. I'll put that in intelligence or something. And like wow, you're gonna you, she was intelligent. And like, like you can reroll it. Like no, I I'm a, I'm a purist. I keep the original rolls. All eights in one ten. I mean, definitely. You think Gygax rolled all these? If characters? this Empress wins, get oh, her some better sick. people. She deserves better people. Yeah. Like. Yeah. 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 That's the Empress best. No, nah, fam. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. So, so Damodar no. grabs the staff and opens up like a portal back to do? where what he needs to go. Mm. But guess mean? what? He... Guess who jumps in right after him? Yeah, okay. Is Ridley. But the thing is, he jumps in, like, right after him. Yeah, right after. It but then after. he doesn't show up at for, the like, tower. <laughs> yeah, for a while. Like, and why the reopens and drops him off. Yeah, like, it's like, what? what? But anyway, Damodar gets yeah, the staff. Yeah, because there's a place in between that they go to. It's like a little burger joint, and he's going to say, you got a burger real quick. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm so, hungry. Uh, this Whereas city, Damodar's like, i got to get back there yeah, with the staff. Right, he stopped off. He was like, what's here? I think it would have been funnier Ooh. if he, like, dropped off immediately behind him, but he, like, just kept standing behind him. So yeah. I'm just saying, we could have made we could have made a better movie here with yeah. a lot of the stuff we're putting For in. For sure. So, uh, but this city is made up like of, like, lots of towers, and so it's... Yeah, and, like... It's, a dorky amount of towers. Yeah, like, like too many. You no, know, we didn't talk city. about when they, he gets this fucking rod from the skeleton. There's like now he's like you, you gotta break oh, the, the curse. Is like that. Uh, I won't tell you yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's, also, it's also like the worst spirit Halloween problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, Dang, then you killed him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, he's like, okay. but you'll know when it happens or something. And you're like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he gets to take it away. So I'm like, does the curse pass on, or does he have to? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck just happened here. Right? Yeah, yeah, what the know. fuck happened? You never find out. They never... No. They so they're at the up. tower. Well, I'm sure they broke the curse, but I don't even remember how. Nope, they're at they the did tower. Not say, they no. Did. No. That was a cutscene, I guess, because yeah. they didn't oh say. Oh, my God. So he brings him into the tower. Like, so he and the mages are at one tower, and he gets the red staff. Well, the and the empress... The the empress is... Oh, may, yeah, maybe. The, Why? The empress is at... Another tower, and she's got the gold staff. Which you always so have one tower. I was saying the princess tower. was in another castle. So. It was like a clash of clans, if you will. She is. And, yeah. um, brought you by a clash of clans. So um, she's like, I guess we have to go to war now. And then she <laughs> I guess flies. You're going to yeah. War. Also, I did like her. I will say, I did like her armor in this scene. <laughs> uh, I liked her, like, cowl that they had on yeah, her. I made her and, neck yeah. look really long and regal. Yeah, she looked good. Um, there is a funny, so I remember from one of my magazines, like a girl's oh. magazine that I had Ooh. back in the day. Like a girl um, God. Uh, and I, it was like, a, I think it was called Girl, was like, and it was like, oh, girl. the American Girl magazine or something like that. It was definitely a magazine for like teenage girls. Sure. And we they were talking about, about, they'd have like a celebrity thing and they'd be like, what's your most embarrassing moment? And the only reason I knew this movie existed was because Thora Birch was talking about how Being when she was filming dance. this movie and she had to go to the bathroom in all the armor, it would be really embarrassing in the bathroom because she'd just be like clanking Shiki, around Shiki, Shiki. trying to go to the bathroom. And that stuck with me all this time. And I was like, and I now, gotta watch that movie someday. And now, and now, you guys can hear and that. now hey, I have. Full yeah. I did. I yeah. did it. Do you feel like a little sad now that it's like it's done, it's or do you feel like good that it. like it's completed? No, because she's happy she saw it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, she yeah. loved the movie. And I always heard terrible things about this movie, and it's really not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but it got a three point five out of ten yeah. on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, uh, three point yeah. six on IMDb as well. Oh, uh, nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That's what it was. Um, 9%. So let's talk about these CGI dragons real quick. They are bad. Yeah, looking. they're pretty shitty. They're terrible. They're all the same exact dragons. Do, do we think that they would have done better if they had claymation dragons? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I would have been more The interested. design for the dragons was just really bad. They had like very long necks and big heads and mouths. I, uh, again, I must reiterate the creator of the game's son wrote this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Just help out, man. Yeah. Your dad your dad has people that drew these things. These He's dragons something. look yeah. like shit. Yeah. So, but anyway, the dragons are Fuck. starting to fight. The gold dragons and the red dragons are fighting. She's gold riding dragon, the dragon. I didn't dragon, realize that she shit. ends up getting on a dragon and riding it. Yeah. Like um, Khaleesi. Have you ever seen a dragon? I was like, it's also, Khaleesi. Also, since you have seen the new Dungeons & Dragons. By the way, dragons, again, Game of Thrones is a full copy of this. Yeah, again. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you've seen the new one, uh, the best scene no in that spoilers. movie. Oh, whatever. No spoilers. We can talk about it off camera. Oh, fine. 
Yeah, you and your spoilers. It's the dragon, though. She's you and dragon. your spoilers. It's, yeah. it's, in the show, it's, not it's spoiler. 100%. Yeah, but it's even better when you're watching. Jeremy Irons is the dragon in this, because he yeah, is yeah. just... Yeah. If only he would roll around. Gnashing his yeah. teeth, like, yeah. just yelling at the sky, his guy liner just popping. He, I'm like, dude... All right, nice. so we're here. We're up to the end. This is the climax. She's the dragons yeah. are fighting. Riddy's in right Riddy's in full murder hobo mode at this point. Yep. He has to like face like 20, 20 thousand roaring orcs going in here. Yeah, and he's just like slashing through people and just rolling. I don't know if the DM's just giving him advantage. He's got a yeah. special sword. He's yeah, fine. So he gives him yeah. like plus seven to sexterity. I have no clue what's going on here. <laughs> just he's just flying through. Yeah, the he's just murdering people. And and like, he's a rogue, by the way. Like he's in the Well, that's the thing. thing. It's like and he's he has a rogue, leather armor, but yeah. also he knows some magic, he's and also on. he can fight. So it's like, he, what is he really? What is he really? What is he? Really? They don't know. Nobody. Explained. Yeah, that's what I mean. They no, tried to. They tried to put a bunch of things together. So, Ugh. oh god. Okay. okay. Um. Well, we like this movie. Okay. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going. Let their blood rain from the sky was a line that was said by oh, also, Jeremy Irons screaming into the sky. Also, a. Uh, 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 Captain Blue Lips there, he's like, yo, I got your staff. Um, oh, the release, me. release me. Release me from my... Does. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. No, you expected him to, like, yeah, murder him or something? Yeah. yeah. No, he's... Okay. I was like, released oh. him. Okay. Uh, but, uh, so, so, you know, I, at first I was like, why is he fighting anything? It's like, oh, because he kept his bargain. Even though he, like, kind of did a shitty thing. He, like, was, right. He well, and doesn't even... Doesn't Damodar at one point even say he's like, I've always served... The, the Empress, yeah, but like he does. this guy so, owns to, uh, me because Marina. he but I, yeah. I think I think he was trying to I mean, he was trying to do a persuasion okay. a deception yeah. check. Yeah. And he's like, I'll just use my brain worm to Yeah, you know, I'll just yeah. Said. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Have some beats by Dre. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> the worst beats by Dre. <laughs> uh oh. so uh oh then he goes, Jeremy Irons is doing his thing. Ridley goes, pick on someone your own size. I'm like, dude, you're five six. Like, <laughs> I, well, he had the he had the one. I was like, he, he didn't have the legs. He gonna get dragon kick his ass. He ain't got the lifts, man. I thought it was, I literally was like, I will give this movie five stars if he just grows like four inches. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do that though. No. <laughs> the, the, I mean, they, uh, but then, uh, wait, do did we, did we get to the Damodar fight where he? When he fights Damodar? Oh, that was actually right before this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was going to say... Uh, I wrote by Derp Kevin's face. It's all I wrote. Yeah, because uh, there's a backstab and then a yeet, which was great, I thought. Uh, also, a little sass from Ridley, where he's like... Um, oh, he repeated his coming to his own. He repeated the line that he said to them... Oh, what did he say? I can't remember now. I should have wrote it down. But I was just like, oh, sassy instead. Uh, there's a lot of sparky sword fighting. Because uh, Demeter had a sword that sparked, I guess, which he did not have before this. So I was confused a little bit. I'm like, why aren't you using that lead with that magic weapon, bud? But okay. Um, yeah, and then dragons are getting frisky. Uh, there's like just dragons like doing some. I think they're having sex. They might be fighting. I think they're having sex, though. Probably having sex. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you get that many dragons one place. And Jeremy Irons face acting, it, it seems to be getting progressively more and more throughout this whole thing. Like, I, I feel like his face, if it just came off... Do, it, yeah, like, no, he was like losing his shit, yeah. uh, There's also a, a really important thing that has no bearing on the plot, uh, but they say it earlier, they're like, if the dragons die off, it, it, then life will also wither. And a bunch of dragons die. And, and they, 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 the, one, right. the first dragon dies, they showed the sky darken, and that's it. I'm like, okay. I forgot that that happened, so, yeah. yeah. I was, I wanted to add the thing, so I was like, oh, there's going to be something, some kind of confidence for this. And I'm like, also, oh. how does this climactic battle happen? There's a couple, like, little fight things. Then he's, he's doing some necromancing A broken things. wand, and then he just immediately gets eaten. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I did love that, though. I was like, that was well, he also, he like, starts, like, doing, like He's, like, chanting at the Empress, and, like, I carry my Ashkash yeah, yeah. like, yeah. uh, and I think he's an Ashkash yeah, and, and then she's like, oh, I feel bad. And the dragon, it's like, oh wait, dragon. Yeah, like, Ooh. I know all the fucking dragons, man. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, but the best thing is the, the loot that Ridley gets after this, that sweet-ass fucking Nehru jacket he's yeah. wearing at the end of this. And you're like, that doesn't feel period appropriate. So I do love that this... Well, like snails. I do <laughs> love that this movie ends in a snails cemetery. Snails this, man. Um, so they're all in the cemetery together. And you're like, oh, they're gonna do a quick scene here and then, like, go to something else. No. Also, yeah. this party was useless. Like, it was the worst party in party history. Like, yeah. it was just Ridley rolling 20s and everybody else was just sort of there. Yeah, for sure. 
And he was definitely the star. Queen of the fucking the dragons. And, yeah. and the librarian that had one spell slot. Yeah, seriously. One level five so, but no, they, so they go to Snail's grave, and it's just like a cairn that he's built for him with his name on it. Well, he's poor. Poor people. Yeah. It, 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 but then he puts... Cairns. What yeah. I love is that he puts the ruby on his cairn, which is like, you're not going to leave that there. Like, someone's going to take that. Oh, yeah, it's kind of useless. At this yeah, level, I guess. Right? So. But it's still a ruby, right? But like, then again, make money off of it's it. not useless. Because he puts it down and then... Throw his it down, name, big man. Throw his it down. name comes off it of the cairn. Itself, yeah. yeah. And, and then like, we're assuming that he is alive? So is this like right. the wish spell? Is and then, or something? But then or? it like takes transport because they all put their hands yeah, together. They're, they're like, yeah. including the dwarf. Yeah, he's just there with them. Who's basically done nothing. They are nice. fast friends now. He fought. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Kind of. <laughs> he stole his own axe back after he got captured. Yeah. That was literally it. Yeah. They, they, they I don't fight, really the fight scenes for other people in this movie are he shit. He did fight like at the castle and I did notice too that they like it was very hard for him because he they must have gotten really tall guys and even then sure. he looked pretty normal size. Well, and they had not, that like, one really size. big dude that they, they they had him like oh yes the, the big back, but then they put him like that was oh, another they're giving you the another scene like Indiana Jones thing where it was yeah. like oh here's the big guy yeah. there were, there was, there was, there's two yeah. little guys who we beat up and then big guy who beats him yeah, yeah. In the fight yeah, yeah that was like definitely Indiana Jones right there like, so uh yeah. but yeah but then they Except all the charisma they all disappear together off to the next adventure. And here's like, another here's another sequel. fun fact yeah, tell us. there's a sequel we have, we and have a, a third one to this it's also on YouTube the sequel they both went like direct to DVD so our next two yeah. both watching something and none the, the only original the actor who came good. back for the second one was Damodar yeah. <laughs> yep he died. I bet you thought that he probably I came back as a different character. <laughs> He's a hero. This one. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I get to agree. It's <laughs> <and showing, laughs> showing that they're continuing the D and D game. And he, Damodar, the guy played Damodar, I'm Jamadar, a different character. He's yeah. like, I'm Jamadar. Jamadar. <laughs> It's just the same character when he's reskinned. Like, I'm, <laughs> look, I have green lips. Like, I'm totally different. Yep. Guys, mm-hmm. was this or was this the not best movie better than Yoga Hoses? It was better. This is fun. This is fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I got into it first. I'm like, the CGI was like, I forgot how bad CGI was in 2000. Yeah, I think I passed but, it. Though, real yeah. Quick. But they picked it up. And there's. It wasn't the best movie of all time, but it definitely had some funny moments. Yep. Like, my face hurts right now from smiling from this review, because we just yeah. had a fun time. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I agree. I love that Marlon Wayans was shooting this, and Requiem yeah, for a Dream, dream that, like, was nominated for Oscars. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, one of the, like, it's most Marlon important Wayans, the actor movies. of our yeah, time. Right? But also, like, the highest and lowest of that. Like, yeah, he's like, you know, know what I mean. And he's just, like, starts laughing, like, you're on the wrong side. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Like, what the drugs, fuck? Lots of drugs. Yeah. Um, oh. We did it, guys. Hey, thanks for stopping by. That's why he was kind of unhinged in some of this movie. Thanks yeah. for watching, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Fang Foom, D&D, play some D&D. Watch wrestling.